Hi all, good morning. Hope you're doing well. So today we'll start pre-med 4 and uh, in the first course we'll be talking about organic chemistry 2. So in organic chemistry 2 we are much more focused on understanding how the principles that we learned of organic chemistry will work in organic chemistry 2. So this is the second part of the course. So we, we will discuss a lot of applications of organic chemistry and we'll focus on different uh, organic compounds and biomolecules. So the purpose of this course is that it will also help you in your uh, biochemistry because most of the principles that you learn in uh, this part of the subject will help you with most of, mo most of it in uh, biomolecules and metabolism. So at the end of this course, we'll have a comp comprehensive study of biomolecules and their importance in the human body. So and we shall end the course with a discussion on metabolism and of different biomolecules such as carbohydrates, lipids, amino acids, and we'll see how energy production works in your body. So let's look at the course outline. So we have three parts in the course. So we'll talk about organic molecules, biomolecules, and metabolism. Organic molecules are basically molecules that we, have, we are going to apply principles, but we have learned in organic one, and we are going to apply those principles in understanding these compounds. Most common uh, compounds that we see are our alcohols and phenols, ethers, epoxides, thiols, and sulfides, and aromatic compounds. Aromatic compounds mostly are benzene, anything with a ring, so most of them are called anything with a ring. A conjugated uh, ring uh, structures are generally called aromatic compounds. And we'll also discuss aldehydes and ketones. So the combination of aldehydes and ketones and carboxylic acids and alpha carbons are com comes under the broad classification of carboxylic compounds. And finally, we'll discuss amines. Amines are basically organic compounds with an ammonia group attached to it. So and in part two, we'll discuss carbohydrates, we'll discuss lipids and We'll discuss amino acids and proteins. We'll discuss how to apply protein structure to enzymes and vitamins. And we'll see the functioning of how some enzymes work and how vitamins help you in your, how these uh, vitamins can help you in understanding uh, your body structure. And uh, remember that uh, the short note is that vitamins comes from the word vital minerals. So that's a short form of vitamins. And at last in part two, we'll discuss nucleic acids. So nucleic acids, you have DNA, RNA. And we'll also discuss the basic dogma of molecular biology, which is replication, transcription, and translation. And we'll see how proteins are synthesized in that manner. And in part three, we'll discuss metabolism. In metabolism, we'll work out metabolic pathways of carbohydrates. And we'll see the general cycle of carbohydrate digestion in the human body. And in part two, we'll discuss the citric acid cycle. And we'll also discuss how electron chain trans electron transport mechanisms work in terms of organic chemical chemical principles and we'll also see the metabolism of lipids and amino acids basically how fats are dissolved in your body and how does your body digest amino acids amino acids are basic structural parts of your proteins and the course grading scheme is as follows so you will have graded quizzes you will have midterm exam you will have active learning assignments and a part of professionalism and a comprehensive final exam so graded quizzes will generally be quizzes that will be conducted throughout the semester. So these are uh, per chapter quizzes or per topic quizzes. And we have midterm examination, which covers about half of the syllabus. And we'll see active learning assignments, which contain about 20%. So this is basically lab assessment. And you will do most of these lab assessments on your own. And you'll be submitting the files. And finally, professionalism. Professionalism is a count of how good are you attending the classes and how good are you completing the assignments given in a particular amount of time and how active are you in asking questions. So all of these are graded on a scale. So you can go through the syllabus copy and you'll find most of the uh, scales that we use to calculate the professionalism score. And finally, the comprehensive final exam, which contains all of the syllabus, and uh, that would be about 35%. So the total adds up to about 100%. So these are the two textbooks that I refer. For part one of the course, which includes organic molecules, we use uh, David Klein's Organic Chemistry, third edition. And for part two and part three, use uh, General and Organic Bi Biological Chemistry by Karen C. Timberlake. And both the, both the textbooks, I have uploaded the PDF files on Canvas, and you can find it under the resource module in Can on Canvas. And I'll be conducting a doubt-clearing session every Monday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. 
so if you have anything in the middle during the week you can contact me at any time so that we can have an impromptu session but make sure that you clearly exhaust all the resources that you have and ask your friends and then come back to me and this session generally the doubt clearance session will be conducted using google meet due to the pandemic and i will be sending a meeting link prior to the sessions to attend and make sure that you attend the session because it might be helpful in clearing out doubts that you have any any other way and we will have proctoring as well so all the quizzes that are being conducted will be proctored so most quizzes will be done every tuesday and i will be informing you the every quiz prior to the week i conducted so proctoring will be done through google meet so you already know the procedure so i do not need to mention it already and anything that's non proctored will not be counted towards the final grade so you have active learning assignments so i will be sending out files these might be questions this might be uh, writing assignments so you might have to use if it's a writing assignment you might have to use a scanner app on your phone and uh, upload it as a pdf file i'll be sending out instructions for each assignment separately so that you can use that instructions to uh, write it down and uh, send it to me so if you have any more doubts or any more if you need any more information please contact me using my email thank you